Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the Benji Anfield vlog. So, it is the 11th of November, and it is Remembrance Day, and we will remember. Uh, and also, this is my 100 uh, YouTube video, so uh, a good time to be doing it about Liverpool, of course. But yes, today is the 11th of November, and we are playing Fulham at lunchtime. So I thought I'd do a vlog on the day. Uh, just to kind of also kind of show how much this is going to mean today. This is going to be a massive game. Uh, I obviously feel like I say that with every single game. But today I think it's really huge uh, for a number of reasons. We need to get back on track after a terrible European performance through the week. And also today we could win and go and be top of the table over the international break and that would be an unbelievable start to the season Ev, uh, so basically yes Fulham the bottom of the table they've got five points we should win we should win comprehensively today Ev, uh, yeah we should win comprehensively and our record against Fulham is it's possibly one of the most impressive against all the teams in the Premiership. Uh, we always seem to play them, like the second week of November. We always seem to play them. I mean, my birthday is the 10th of November, but we always seem to play them, like, round about that date. Like, 2007, 10th of November, we played them in Anfield. We won 2-0. Uh, we played them on the 9th of November in 2013. We won 4-0. We just always seem to play them round about this time. But, uh, yeah, I really truly believe we will win today. I think we'll win pro comprehensively. For some strange reason, I think they'll score. And I don't know why. I just do think they'll score. So I'm going to go for about 3-1. Uh, I would like to see Firmino dropped. He does not deserve to be playing. The man has not been good enough. Trent also needs dropped, in my opinion. So my starting lineup would be, I'd go Alisson in nets. Oh, that's not that's a no-brainer. I would play Gomez right back, Van Dijk, Matip. Even though Matip's performance in Belgrade was not the best thing, Robertson left back, of course, just is an absolute machine. Your midfield would be so Henderson's back. I'd play Henderson, Van Alden, Milner, and up front I would go. Oh God, I can't believe I'm saying this, even though I said it one last week the other day. Salah, Mane, Sturridge. Firmino can't play. He can't. Man has not been good enough. So that would be my starting eleven. Uh, it's one of those games where it, it's annoying, really, kicking off at 12 on a Sunday. We don't really do it a lot, but Fulham played Monday night and lost to Huddersfield. And we played on Tuesday at 6. So it shouldn't really matter much difference about the, the rest time. Uh, we've obviously had enough time and yeah I think we'll get the job done uh, our record at Anfield anyways is impressive since Klopp's came in so yeah it should be a win today and it should be a comprehensive one I think and then obviously later on you've got Chelsea playing Everton come on you blue noses do us a favour and then obviously we've got United playing City in the Manchester Derby. Uh, I mean, I'll be honest, I think a lot of people probably want to draw. I'd like United to win, really. I, I'd, 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 a point clear at the international break would be fantastic. Going level on points and their goal difference being what it is. I just don't think... I think we need to be ahead. I think this group of players only get confident when they're ahead. I'd, I'd, do you know We've, we haven't won anything as a group of players. Klopp's won nothing. And he came out this week and said, we don't feel successful. Well, of course you shouldn't feel successful. We've been in three finals. We've lost all three of them. We should have won all three, by the way. And people can say bias and stuff like that. The League Cup final against Man City in 2016, when we scored, I truly believe we were going to win that game in normal time. I truly believe that. The Europa League final, we'll win on 1-0 at half time. We should have saw that game through. And the Champions League final... Well, look what's, look what's happened to Real Madrid since. Bale will never score a goal like that ever again in his career. You'll never see a goalkeeper performance as calamitous as the one as Carrius gave in a European Cup final ever. I think if you were to look back, I don't think there's ever been a goalkeeper has made errors in a 
a European Cup final to that uh, status. So really, we should have three trophies. And then if you think about that, then that's a, then there's the two UEFA Cup Super Finals. You, UEFA Super Cup Finals you'd get to, would we win them? I think the 2016 one, we would have played Real Madrid. We may have lost that one. But I think the Super Cup Final this year, we would have played Atletico Madrid. I think we would have probably won it. So that's four trophies. And then the, if you win the Champions League, you're then in that World Club Championship game towards Christmas time and you're playing teams from bloody all over the place I think we would probably would have won that as well so we could have had so as of bloody Christmas day we could have had five trophies under Klopp possibly six so to say we don't feel successful of course we shouldn't feel successful we're not top of the league we're not even top of our Champions League group and we haven't won anything so and we got and we've been knocked out the League Cup in the last two seasons in the third round and knocked out the FA Cup last season in the fourth round by West Brom, who went down. So, yes, well, of course we shouldn't feel successful, Klopp. <laughs> uh, but, no, that's that rant over. But, yeah, listen. We've got the capabilities to win today. All we can do is our job. And then we can sit back and watch the other teams play. And if results go our way, fantastic. If we can go into the international break a point clear, brilliant. If not, we'll just have to deal with that. Our fixtures are becoming a little bit more easier, so to speak. Because after the international break, we've got Watford, which is a little bit different compared to the international, after the international breaks in the past, where we've had derbies and United and Tottenham away. So it's nice that we've got Watford, but Watford are also doing well, so we can't take any game for granted. But I think we'll have enough today to win. We do our job, and then we look at how everybody else does later on this afternoon with Chelsea and City. But uh, no, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, all the best.